Roselle hibiscus, have you heard of it? If not, and you live in a warm climate, you should. It's a great crop, easy to grow, and loves the heat. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about how to plant, grow, and most importantly, use Roselle hibiscus. In my search to find crops that love the heat, I found Roselle hibiscus. It grows plentifully in lots of other hot climates. Not only does Roselle love the heat, it is a beautiful plant with beautiful flowers similar to okra, and best of all, its leaves are edible and the calyxes are delicious. So many different ways to use them. It's important to get Roselle planted early enough in the summer so that it can grow and develop into a nice, big, beautiful plant by the time those calyxes develop. Roselle is a heat-loving crop and does best planted when soil temperatures have warmed to between 75 and 85 degrees. So it likes warm temperatures. Wait to plant Roselle until the soil is nice and warm. You can plant Roselle from starts. You can start them indoors. You can purchase transplants. Roselle also does really well when started from seed right in the garden. Choose a location for Roselle that has nice, fertile, well-draining soil. A nice sunny spot is perfect. They don't mind the heat. If it gets some afternoon shade in really hot places like the low desert of Arizona, that's just fine. But again, it can grow in full sun as well. Roselle's ideal conditions for growing are humid and warm. So be sure to give the growing plant plenty of moisture. It does not like to dry out. An important thing to remember as Roselle is growing, you want to give the Roselle plant lots of time to get nice and big. You can see this plant is starting to get big and it's just gonna grow throughout the summer. In fact, Roselle plants get very large. Give Roselle plants plenty of room. One or two good sized plants may be all you need. Because Roselle plants get large, it's best to give them some support. My favorite way is to simply get a length of rebar and pound it into the ground and then attach the rebar to the trunk with some twine. Roselle is day length sensitive. What does that mean? That means that it's going to bloom once the days begin to get shorter in late fall. Keep an eye on your plant. Don't worry that you're not getting blooms over the summer. Those are gonna come. You'll notice almost all at once these big beautiful blooms appearing on your Roselle. And the larger it is, by the time that late fall comes around, if you have a nice, big, beautiful Roselle plant at that time, you're gonna have a lot more blooms and a lot more calyxes, which means a bigger, better harvest for you. You wanna make sure you're harvesting the calyx at just the right time. The beautiful Roselle bloom is going to fade and kind of fold into itself and eventually fall off, and that calyx is going to form. About 10 days after blooming is the best time to pick the calyxes. And just like so many plants in the garden, the more often that you pick Roselle, the more you're going to get. If you leave the calyxes on the plant, they're going to signal to the plant to slow and eventually stop production. So once it begins producing, be sure and harvest. Sometimes you're harvesting as much as every day or every other day. But keep an eye on the size of those calyxes and be sure and harvest them often. At the end of the season, leave a few of the biggest, plumpest calyxes on the plant. Let those grow and develop and dry, and they're going to develop into seed pods. They look a little funky, but once they're completely dry, you can crack open the seed pods, and you'll have seeds to save for next season to plant and to share with others. Roselle is such a beautiful plant flowers and blooms and the calyxes are so beautiful. It's almost worth growing just for looks alone. But my favorite part of growing Roselle is the taste. Once we learned how to use Roselle and added it to different recipes in the kitchen, we have grown to love the taste and look forward to it every year. That Roselle jam disappears way too quickly at my house. I would say the flavor of Roselle is similar to a cranberry and a raspberry, kind of a mix of both. It has its own unique flavors. Use the calyxes to make jellies, jams, tea, pies. You can even use the calyxes to make a mock cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving. That's right about the time you'll be harvesting them. One of the most popular uses for Roselle hibiscus is a seasonal drink called Jamaica. It's a seasonal drink at Christmas time in South America and the Caribbean. In Mexican restaurants in the United States, the beverage is sometimes simply known as Jamaica. The blooms, leaves, and pods of Roselle are edible. The leaves taste like a little bit like spicy spinach and are used in many cultures around the world. Do you have other ways that you love to use Roselle hibiscus? Let me know in the comments. 
As always, thank you so much for watching.